Sarah. Thank you for coming on in and keeping me company. I don't know how loud the sewing machine is going to be, honestly. So I'm sorry if it's super loud, but your girl is tired and I needed some type of motivation to get this done. So here we are. <laughs> don't mind my nails. I definitely need a fill, but this is, this is what we're working with right now. So I'm making keychains. I made a couple earlier. So I made these. These are just kind of like fabric only. I have a couple of videos that I've been recording for that I hope to get out soon. I'm just trying to catch up on what I already have to edit. But my keychains, I make two kinds. I make these that are just only fabric, like cotton. And then I have some that are two-toned that are fabric with the vegan leather so i already made the like all cotton ones so what i'm making now is the cotton and then vegan leather and they, these are a little bit sturdier i kind of like how the leather has a stretch to it so it's just personal preference um on what like they like or what's not so i have this nice little stack here ready I also have scrunchies that I started working on. I have this pile of scrunchies to work on. Um, you can't really see. Sorry, camera angle is the worst. But I have to um, sew the elastic shut on these. So I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot of things tonight. <laughs> Trying to get this stuff done tonight so that um, I can go ahead and just kind of rest tomorrow. I feel like I've been grinding a lot the last couple of days. And I just want some me time. I'm contemplating if I'm even going to come into the store tomorrow. I might just take the day to myself. Or if I do come, I'm just going to mostly relax and just hang out here. But I definitely, um, I made a sale today. So that was nice. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to crochet a skirt for my friend. So I'll probably work on that. And then um, just take it easy, but take a light on the business stuff. Um, fun story. I almost burnt the store, not once, but twice. The heat press that I have here that I got for free, there was like a slight electrical fire. And the cable burnt not once, but twice. So I tried making these earlier today because I completely ran out of tags. So I sublimated these, but... See, there's even ghosting on this one a little bit, but the heat press gave out on me. I have one at home, but I'll, I'll just have to take this little, I have another pile here of tags I want to sublimate on. So I'll probably just do that when I get to the house or lies tomorrow morning. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good angle. Let me see. I might try to raise you up and then lower you at the same time. Yeah, it was it was fun. It was definitely fun <laughs> watching the smoke fill the room that I was in. <laughs> so the first time, it wasn't too bad. Like I was, I, ironically, I have it on uh, on video. I was um, trying to record me making the tags that I just showed, and it like popped. The cable kind of like not caught fire, but it popped. So I was like, okay, well, maybe it was kind of just like a bad cable. Oh, these are like leaving an indent on this. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I might just have to kind of do it further out here. But um, I was like, okay, maybe it's the cable. The cable was bad. So I tried it again later. Um, one of the guys had an extra cable here. They let me borrow it. So I went ahead and used it. And I'm just in here, ironically, cutting this. I was cutting this, the, the vegan leather. And I, like, I smelled smoke. But, you know, sometimes when you turn on the heat press, you smell smoke because, you know, it's hot, whatever it's not. But I looked up, and the room was filling with smoke. Filling with smoke. So I was like, oh, crap. And the fire department has already been here, like, twice. So I was like, I'm not trying to be the reason why the fire department comes here. So I unplugged it immediately. I opened all the doors. I was trying to, like, get the smoke to clear out. But, uh... It was, it was a little scary. <laughs> Not even lies. It was a little scary. Um, I'm fine, thankfully. Nothing caught fire for real. The cable is definitely, like, it was melting. Um, I ended up having to use, like, a scrap piece of this 
Um, yeah, I definitely don't need a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, no. I ended up using a scrap piece of this that I have from like when I was cutting to kind of just pull the cable out because of course it's like hot and like melting. Oh, it's, it's, it's been a day. <laughs> so I just, I want to get her done. Here. I just want to put it somewhere close. And then it's funny because one of the girls that works for the owner, she was here and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like nervous. Like I almost had a heart attack. Um, Cause like the electrical, like it scared me because the first time, cause it popped and I, I have it on video. I'm so happy I have it on video. I mean, it's a bad thing, but it's good that I was recording. Um, she's like, yeah, we don't need a lawsuit. Well, I was like, sis, you would be the one suing me, <laughs> not me suing you. It's okay. I have insurance, but I'd rather not have to deal. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, no lawsuits here, please. <laughs> I was like, let me let me hurry up and unplug this, open the doors, get all that good stuff out. But I figured I'm not the only person who might be bored on a Saturday night. This might help put someone to sleep. <laughs> I hope these go away. I don't know if you can kind of see the, t the teeth mark here. The light probably isn't helping. There's like a little teeth mark from the from the clips. I hope it goes away. Hey, Sandra. Thanks for joining. Just here trying to get this work done. Um, how are your girls is uh your days, girls? anything fun with the fam Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm working on some keychains. So these are the keychains that I'm working on for Valentine's and Easter, kind of like just an early prep. I want to get a couple things done. One, I want to put them in the store here because I want to see how they how well they'll do. Um, and then, so I was showing Sarah earlier, these have the cotton and then the vegan leather in the back. And then earlier I was working on some that have just straight cotton. These are some of the cotton ones, the cotton only ones, excuse me. I also have scrunchies that I um, glued. So I, I use a wide elastic, so I kind of glue them and pin them just so for the glue to dry. So it'll be easier for me to sew. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to go in and close this up. And then I'll probably go back to these because I have to kind of take them off, cut it, and then tuck in the other end. So I'll probably do the scrunchies first and then go back to that. So yeah, I have a little assembly line going. Try to make things go faster.
No, you're good, Sarah. I was just telling her what kind of leather. It's vegan leather. It's like um the pleather, the leather you can get off Amazon. Um, I don't think I have a link in this video, but I may have one in the sublimation video that I had. Um, in the hack, the sublimation hack video. Um, it's like a there's a code there. But I can definitely try putting it in the Discord. You, are you in the Discord, Sarah? If anything, I can try finding it now. I think my thread just broke. Yeah. Did it break on this one too? No, it made it through. Um, but this is like the leather that you can use for your die cut machine as well. So like for your Cricut and your silhouette, you can use it. I use this to make my bookmarks and my my heart, my like triangular like corner bookmarks and my heart bookmarks too. Let me rethread this and I'll try and find the link for you. Ooh, not look, look do y'all see this? <laughs> Can you tell I've been working? My re-threader works sometimes and then it doesn't work. Like I just, I don't understand. Like I can tell you want to work, but it's just, it doesn't always do what it needs to do. Yes, I can't say that word. I try, but I don't know how to say it properly. <laughs> so I've stopped trying. Bear with me, y'all. The struggle be real. These nails aren't helping either. Oh, yes. A foe. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Half of the live will be me trying to rethread this. There we go. Nope. I am, Sarah. Um, I, uh, where are they? They're right here. <laughs> They're super, super helpful. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love them. And like, I can, I had originally when I bought some, like the ones that came with the machine were metal. So it's hard to tell when I'm running low. I like the clear ones because I can see when I need to be like mindful of my uh, my bobbin. I still sometimes run out, but I like the fact that I can see it at least more or less. So thank you. I'm using that and the bins too that you got me. I don't think you were in my last live, but I was even using like the um, the cutter that you got me too. I think you got me this one if I'm not mistaken. All the things. This uh this video is uh, sponsored by Sarah. <laughs> you remember like the um the PVS uh like when you're uh like the shows, it's like, this uh, broadcast was brought to you by, <laughs> this live was brought to you by Sarah. <laughs> Sarah and creation. For sure.
is it just me or does anyone else like hearing the sound of the like pin or the the clip going into the bucket like i feel like i'm doing something <laughs> I haven't made a quilt. Sandra, I am so new to sewing. Ironically, I'm not even sure if I should be allowed to sell scrunchies. <laughs> I am extremely new. I have never so like, I sewed when I was younger. Like I've made scrunchies before, like with my grandmother, like my paternal grandmother that passed away. But before like me buying this machine, I haven't really sewn for real for like, it's been over a decade. Hey, Michelle, yeah, we're making um, keychains. I'll show you. These are the, like, my Valentine's Day keychains that I'm working on. I'm making the ones with the faux leather. Um, earlier today, here at the uh, borough, I was working on the straight um, fabric ones. You may have seen me uh, cut the fabric on the, my last live, so I'm just working on the keychains right now. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Sandy. Oh, you made your first quilt, Sarah. How do you make a quilt? Like, I know there's a lot of, is it craft? No, Mr. Crafty. There's a guy on TikTok who does a lot of quilting. I've seen, like, the strips that he makes. I don't know how that works. Maybe that can be something one of you guys can teach me. Who wants to volunteer to join me on a live to show me how to quilt? <laughs> Sandra, you do you volunteer, Sandra? <laughs> oh, this, fa I don't think I got to show you girls this fabric during my last live. This is one of the fabrics I had to go pick up. It's the other lights here are really yellow. But I really like this, like, striped fabric. It reminds me of the eggs. My grandmother had one of the, like, the old big, I, I'm not, I think it might have been a singer, but, like, the old iron, like, clunky industrial machines. And I used to be on it. It would still scare me, but I would use it. That's what she had. That's what she taught me. It's very Easter, yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah, I want to make a quilt. This is my little, I love having like the little pile. That's honestly why I make an assembly line just so I can have this pile to play with. <laughs> shade quilts like I've made a couple different quilts with like granny squares but I've never sewn one yeah when she passed away I feel like they 
did a lot of things with her stuff. And I mean, granted, I was old enough, but I didn't feel like comfortable asking for stuff. I have no idea what they did with that sewing machine. And it kind of saddens me just to like think about it. I don't know where it is, if it's still in her house. Cause like my uncle lives in her house now. So it's like, is it still there? Like what did y'all do with that machine? But it was, oh, it was a clunker. I remember cause she even had it in her house in Brooklyn. Like when she lived up in New York and then she took it with her when she went to Florida. I feel like that was one of the things she would not part with. Oh yeah, that's hard to think about. Especially now that like I'm doing so much stuff. Like I know she, she's like watching from above, like not to be like, you know, religious or like all sad or whatever, but I feel like she can kind of see where I am or what I'm doing. Like a selfish part of me wishes she was like here physically, like to see and like come to my markets and stuff. But like, I, I hope she's proud from like wherever she is. Yeah, it's sad. Hey, Mary. Like, I remember out of all, like, the grandkids, I'm the baby. Like, I'm the, the last grandchild on my dad's side of the family. Like, between all his brothers, I was the last grandchild. And I'm the only one that speaks Spanish. And I'm the only one that actually, like, knows how to crochet like crochet and knit or just like i guess do like this kind of crafty stuff um one of my cousins is like a music producer and like he does like music but like i was really the only one that like did crafts and stuff with her like i don't know I, but i remember like when like the like my dad and his or her um his brothers my uncles were planning her funeral like, you know, like one of my cousins was like, oh, I want this ring or like, I want this quilt or like she crocheted this one blanket. I want that. And I'm just like, bro, are you guys really sitting here like picking at things? And like, Ugh, we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. Sorry. <laughs> I just went on a whole thing. <laughs> um, What did everyone do today? I was here at the borough, mostly hiding in the back room working. I feel like I've gotten a lot of stuff done. Like the room is coming along fairly well. Like I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the amount of scrunchies I've been able to get done. Um, if I ever finish this, I can walk over to the room. I haven't really shown you guys the room in a while too. So I'm kind of proud with how it's coming along. And I have to double check, I'm not sure, but I think I may have sold like my digital file, my one little digital file, I think it might have sold again today. So I'm really happy. I honestly kind of want to like work more on that stuff. I just, I have to make the time for it. But with me having like the physical brick and mortar, I feel like I genuinely just need things to have here. So I just, I need to work on it. Once I get a good amount of inventory and a flow going, because I have this store, I have a store in Gastonia, and then I may be having pop-ups. So I need to be able to kind of, you know, like, once I crank everything out, I'm done, you know? Then I can work on the digital stuff and hopefully sit back and reap on what I've already literally sewn. <laughs> Oh, nice. I forget that you knit, Sandra. Yeah. It's sad, honestly. Wait, is this the last one, y'all? Uh-oh. That went by fast. 
this is why I wanted to come on live. Like yesterday I was working and I was, I've honestly been wanting to play Dreamlight Valley, but I've had so much stuff to do. I'm like, I can't, I literally can't play. Like I have things, like I have adulting to do. So I was working, but kind of like as a compromise, I was watching gameplay yesterday. So I feel like it distracted me a little bit, but I still got stuff done. I got all these scrunchies, or not scrunchies, I got all these head, uh, keychains done fairly quickly let's cut them let's see i want to say there's like maybe 15 here look look at my little pile y'all my little pile Yeah, I did laundry today too, Sarah. I um when I woke up this morning, I felt super energized. Generally, like because I suffer with like really bad depression, it's super hard for me to get out of bed in the morning. Like I'll I'll wake up. I'll wake up, but I just I can't get up. So this morning, for some reason, I was just like super energized, like super pumped. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna take that energy. We're gonna be, you know, we're gonna be productive. I got up. I literally, the first thing I did, strip my bed. I was like, I want to come home tonight to a freshly made bed, you know, fresh laundry, fresh everything. So I cleaned my room. And then during the week, Daisy, Daisy is a chewer. So any like plushie or anything like that, it won't last. I generally don't buy them for her because I know she's a chewer. But my sister had gotten some hurt, like had gotten a few things for her for Christmas. So I was like, you know what, let me just give it to her because I don't want my sister to think that, you know, like it's not appreciated because it is. And I know she cares and she like watches her and stuff for me, but she, she's just, she's literally a little animal. So she, I had polyfill all over my floor, under my bed. My room was a mess. So I woke up, I cleaned everything. I was like super, just super productive. Did a couple loads. I had to drop off an order for my coworker. I went and did that. Um, so now that I have one side done, all I do is kind of tuck in. I like, for some reason, I don't know why, but I kind of like the leather to be hidden by the fabric. So I always leave like a little bit of fabric out on the outside. So what I'm going to do now is basically tuck this in. I kind of just like tuck it in. But I'm going to leave a little bit of like an overhang just so that I don't like, I don't care for the way this looks. So I want to make sure there's a little bit of overhang of fabric. Um... But yeah, I got I got a lot of things done before I got here. When I did get here, I kind of just came in and started working as well. I was cutting some more things and flipping tubes. I haven't shown you guys. I've, I mean, I've, like I said, I've been recording a lot of things. I am behind on things that I have recorded before, so I'm still editing that before I post this. I'm trying to get caught up because I'm having the launch on February 1st. So I would kind of like to have some of these videos up before then. I might kind of just like skip them in the timeline, like jump them up. But we'll see. Because I would like to kind of have that content out to like build hype around the launch. Um, but yeah, I've been recording a lot of like how I make this and stuff. If you guys want to, I guess, a tutorial a little bit more in depth about things. But I know y'all know more about someone than I do. So <laughs> they won't be for you. But yeah, I, I got a lot of things done. Um, I think when I left, I had done, like, I flipped two loads of laundry. I may have left a load in actually before I left. So I probably have to flip that when I get in the house. But yeah, it just, it feels good to finally feel good enough to actually clean just because like with all the back problems and stuff that I've had, I feel like I haven't really been able to kind of get that stuff done. And just knowing that I was able to get it done made me feel super good this morning. So yeah, I, isn't this super cute, y'all? Like this is a nice little Easter. Let me see. I feel like I missed a lot of. Hello, Quest Gaming. Um, I missed a lot of messages. Yeah, Michelle, people are the worst sometimes. Yeah, so I had to I had to ride the the cleaning wave once I got on it. <laughs> I 
I love children's museums, Mary. I'm such like a big kid. Um, I like to take my sister to museums and stuff like that because one, a good amount of the times they're free. <laughs> and it's kind of just like a way to one, get out of the house, but just to do things, have little activities, you know? But my favorite part of like any museum is like the kids section. Like when we went to the art museum, I think one of the one here in North Carolina is like a block away from my job. And there's like a kind of like a, a woven station. Like you can kind of make your own, like, like you can weave your own basket. Like they show you how to weave your basket. They have like a little, uh, a weave. I don't know what the machine is called. Like when you weave your own fabric, but they have that you can cut strips and like paint the strips and then like weave a physical basket with the strips that you make and stuff. So we're, I'm sitting there with my sister and mind you, we're both like huge. <laughs> like the other parents are looking at us and we're just like, let us enjoy ourselves. Like we're not bothering you. <laughs> let us be great. <laughs> and I'm like, pass the marker, sis. <laughs> I feel like they'd be judging us. But hey, I'm here to have a good time just like you. <laughs> I'm going to put this further over to the side. I don't know if you guys can see, like, my clips are leaving a mark. You can't see the original one, so I feel like it will go away, but it's just, it's bothering me. So we're going to put it close to the edge. But yeah, I love me a good museum. Actually, by the store here, too, there's uh, kids mar uh, marbles. Yeah, Kids Marbles, Marbles Museum. I can't speak today, y'all. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I do too. Like, I feel like crap. So it just only makes my depression worse. <laughs> but thankfully, you know, I've also been trying to like, because we're our worst critics, you know. It's different for you guys sometimes too, because it's like you guys have kids, you know, so it's like, you don't really have a choice. Like, you have to get up and make breakfast and stuff. Like, I only got to feed myself. <laughs> so it's it's different. And then I just, I don't know. Like, I was super motivated this morning. So I was like, we're going to take this high and we're going to we're gonna be positive. We're going to be productive. And we have been. I've, I've gotten a lot of stuff done. Um, I was supposed to technically go out with some friends tonight. But I was like, you know what? Let me take it easy. I went out with you guys yesterday. And I still came back to work even after going out. But I was like, let me just get this stuff done so I can kind of just chill tomorrow. Hopefully play some Dreamlight Ballet. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I sometimes feel bad, but I also, like, I know I have to give myself grace. Like, we're allowed to take breaks, you know. If it's, like, super reoccurring, then okay, yeah, like, I get it. But we're our worst critics sometimes, so it's, like, we need we need rest, you know. Like, sometimes we deserve rest. We need rest. So it's okay, you know. Every once in a while to kind of, like, lay there for a good extra 30 minutes, enjoy the peace, the silence. <laughs> you have to show us your rescued fabric. I haven't been on the Discord group lately, y'all. I'm so sorry. I've been like super bad with Discord. Um, but honestly, I've just I've been really busy. I was on it this morning again. I kind of got distracted on social once I actually got up and said I was gonna do work. So I got on earlier and I was like on the video chat, just like keep me company <laughs> while I work. I feel like if someone's watching me, I feel more inclined to do work. <laughs> That's what I said I was gonna do. What kind of fabric did you get, Mary? I really like this fabric. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like there's glitter on it. It's like super pretty. I really like this. And ironically, I don't, generally I don't like stuff like this, but I feel like it's really cute. Like it's really femme. I really enjoy it. This, I feel like it's a classic because I've been so obsessed with the Dreamlight Valley. It's giving me like mini vibes because <laughs> of the polka, like they're polka dots basically. But this is really cute too. I like this one a lot. Stretchy knits for shirts and leggings. 
I'd be scared to sew clothes. I feel like I've sewn my own clothes. Like my leggings were a little rough the other day. So I was like, okay, we got to, we got to patch up some of these little holes. <laughs> so I did that, but I'd be scared to make something. Hopefully one day, I mean, I've gotten a lot more comfortable and confident with my like knitting machine. No, I keep saying knitting machine. Cause I'm so used to saying knitting machine, my sewing machine. I feel like one day I'll be able to kind of like do that stuff. You guys make it look easy or you I feel like you can simplify it better for me I probably just need to watch some of your videos like uh Sarah said especially like for the quilting and stuff Yeah. And that's the thing too, like for me, I feel like it's so hard, particularly for me in the morning to get up because I rarely, rarely ever have days off. I'm constantly freaking grinding. Like I work my nine to five Monday through Friday and then even on the weekends, like, I'm at the borough right now. Like, I'm not even in my house. But even if I was home, I would still be working. Like, and that's what I like about having a space here at the borough. Like, even just to, like, sew is the fact that, like, when I go home, I can just lay down. Which is also partly why, like, it had kind of gotten wayward because I just, I have not been in my house. But now it's like, okay, I can go home and it's going to be decently cleaned. I only really worked on the upstairs today. But I plan to work on the downstairs tomorrow morning. Your kids love them? The fabric that you got? Yeah, honestly, I feel like I do need an apron because, like, look at, I don't know if you can, like, I'm going to move you guys. Sorry. Look at my, my lap. I'm full of, like, <laughs> I probably need to be wearing an apron when I sew because I'm a messy sewer and there's thread everywhere. I definitely need to work on an apron. Honestly, I didn't even know enough about sewing to, like, know what surges and stuff were. I think that's how I found Liz's channel was, like, looking for a tutorial or, like, a sewing tutorial or something. It was either sewing or sublimation, ironically. And there was a live with her, like, sewing stuff. So I was like, let me, let me get a sewing machine. <laughs> like, if Liz can do it, I can do it. She definitely motivated me. Oh, the quilt. Um, I need. Listen. Honestly, don't think of like, you've already failed in your mind, Sarah, you know, give it a try. If someone doesn't like the quality of something, maybe one, that's just their opinion. Or, you know, maybe you just need to work on it. But I feel like not doing it is cutting yourself short. You seem really talented. Like all the... um the candy cane holders that you made they looked amazing like you and you had how many orders too i feel like you were busting out candy cane holders for days weeks they liked them the quality was there i mean like i said we're our worst critics but the worst thing we can do is not try put it up there girl 
put it up there. Any no gets you close. Like every no gets you closer to a yes. I know that sounds cheesy and generic, but I promise you it is so true. So true. And you're really talented. Like you do so many crafts and they're amazing. Like that Christmas ornament that you made. Oh my God. I don't have it, but I would have easily paid $200 for that. Easily. Uh, if, if, if it happened. <laughs> so the talent is there. The quality is there. I feel like you're just psyching yourself out. And don't do that, girl, because you were too good to psych yourself out. That's not fair to you or your skill. Yeah, I need to, Michelle, it's so bad. I need to be at work at like 8.30. I get out of bed at 8 o'clock. Mind you, I'm up. I be up staring at the ceiling, cuddling with Daisy. And honestly, for me too, like that's part of like my kind of just like downtime, my unwind time. And I would wake up at like sometimes even 6 o'clock and just lay there for two hours. And get up at the, like the very last minute. Like sometimes it would even be eight thirty, and I'm supposed to be walking into work, and I'm just getting out of bed. It's bad. Oh, that's so sweet. Honestly, it's like super cool. Like having customized things. Like when Casey told me she wanted me to make her her little um. Her duck shirt, like her duck meme shirt. I was like, absolutely, let's make it. You know, she loves weeding. So uh, free labor, one. And then just the fact that she was excited to make something of her own, like that I inspired her to do something like that was like super cool to me. And like, maybe that's something one day that they can do with their kids too, Mary. Like, that's really nice. Yeah, girl, that's all in your head. I, I'm, I'm hearing excuses. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we have to make our own motivation sometimes too, you know? And it's like, granted, <laughs> I am not the one to talk because literally the struggle. But like for me, you know, my motivation to get up and clean was knowing that when I get home now, like, it's late. I think it's, like, 9-something, 10-something. When I get home, my bed is going to be fresh. Like, literally fresh. That's an amazing feeling. Like, I deserve that. I deserve to come home to a clean house and a freshly made bed. So, I have no one to help me with that. I have no one to do that for me. I need to do it for myself. And because I deserve it, I get to do that. I get to do that for myself. Like, that's a treat that I'm doing for myself. So it's like, I feel like we kind of have to motivate ourselves, you know, and it's like, or find things to motivate us. Like, give ourselves like little tricks and treats. So for me too, like, I remember when I was in college and for me, like part of my ADHD or just, I guess me being stubborn is that if I genuinely do not want to do something, it will not, when I say not, not get done. I could write, like my degree is in forensic science. Like I studied forensic science with a concentration in the toxicology. So I have a glorified chemistry degree, a BS at that, like a bachelor's in science. I could write easily 20, 30, 40 page science reports. When you add this solution or this liquid to this solution, you know, there is this chemical reaction and the colors turns this and it is slightly cloudy or it's milky and then blah, 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 like bruh the most mundane thing possible, but I loved it. You know, the clear solution when added to this other clear solution turns milky, there's precipitate, there's condensation, it heats up, you know, you can see blah, bruh, who cares? But I loved it, I wrote it out, I told you whatever, I loved it, I freaking loved it. But I could not write, for the love of me, I could not write a one page report on Columbus or, you know, whatever other, like, freaking philosophy or, like, general, like, you know, requirements. I couldn't, I, yo, I remember it would be, like, I think it was, like, for sociology or something. The paper was due 
And during the class, I was in the computer lab typing the paper. Or like, I would try to get one of my friends to like write the paper for me. Like, I'd be like, yo, I'll write your like report or like, I'll do your math homework if you do my English report. I hated it. I detested it. And I would literally be like forcing myself crying in the freaking library or in the computer lab, forcing myself to do that, like trying to motivate myself. And like, even now, like when there's tasks that I loathe to do, jazz, I literally talk to myself, jazz, get this done. If you finish this one, you know, if you do this bookmark, like now, yesterday, because not even now, because I'm tired. Once I get home, I'm definitely going to sleep. Yesterday, part of my push through, like, again, I said, I mentioned this earlier, you guys might have missed it. I was watching uh, Disney Valley gameplay. My motivation was, okay, you can't play, but you're watching someone else play. That was my compromise with myself. And then I told myself, well, when you get home, since, you know, since you did a good job, you can play. Bro, by the time I got home and showered, knocked out. I don't even, like, think the, I think I got it out of my bag, and then I just fell asleep. <laughs> There was no plane, but that was my motivation. Like you have to trick yourself, you know, like we have to find ways around it. Like we have to trick ourselves, honestly. Like that's, I have to, cause it just, I can't, I know it sounds stupid or like it's childish, but listen, or another thing too, I used to do like just to have kind of like me time when I lived with my aunt, like when I first moved down here, I lived with my aunt and I kind of had to like push myself to do things by myself. Cause before me moving down here, I've, I'm generally like, and well, I was because I'm not now, but whenever I'm in a relationship, I'm in like I was in long commitment relationships. Like I was in a relationship for like three, four years, five years, six years. So it's always like after, you know, breaking up and like low key finding myself and blah, blah, blah. It was hard for me to do things by myself. One thing that I would do to kind of like motivate myself was AMC. I don't know if they still have it or not. AMC has $5 movie tickets on Tuesdays. I would take myself on a date night every Tuesday by myself. Depending on the movie, sometimes I would take my sister with me. Like if it was like a Marvel or like a kid's movie I knew she would like. And I would go watch a movie. I'd go. It didn't matter what was out. I remember one weekend or one week, there was literally nothing out. Like nothing that I was interested in seeing because literally every Tuesday I would go. And I saw a random indie movie I would have never watched. And I loved it. It was hilarious. I enjoyed myself. But that was my little treat. I spent $5 to go to the movies. And then with AMC, like if you have their little membership card, I think it's free or if like maybe $20 or $5. I don't know how much it is, but I know it's inexpensive. But, you know, you can cut the lines at the concessions. You can get like if you buy a medium popcorn, they upgrade it to a large. You know, you get free refills on a large popcorn. I mean, granted, once I sat down, I was not leaving my seat. That is very much a rule <laughs> for the movies. My sister knows very well. But, you know, kind of like, that was my little treat to myself. It's inexpensive and just getting myself out there, kind of getting myself out of my comfort zone. And ironically, during the pandemic, that's one of the things I miss the most because movie theaters shut down. Movie theaters shut down. And a lot of them went out of business. It's hard to find a movie theater now, for me here at least. And granted, I've been too busy to like really go to the movies. But just like, oof, yeah, I'm rambling, y'all. <laughs> I'm so behind on comments, so bear with me. Let me scroll. Y'all like my little assembly line that I got going? <laughs> Um, see, I would love one of those. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere. And I'm, I constantly wear black, too. So it just, it makes it so much worse. Oh, the comments got pushed for, oh, I'm so behind. <laughs> right, Michelle? Gorgeous. You tell her. Hey. Yeah. Just do it, girl. Nike had it right. Just do it. <laughs> just just do it. The worst thing, honestly, that can happen is someone just not buying it. Or if they don't like it, they don't like it. That's okay. It might not be for everyone. 
just make sure your return policies are clear. Make sure your descriptions are clear. And if they return it, they return it. And that's on that. But at the very least, you did it. You tried. Don't don't psych yourself out, girl. You're very, very talented. Yeah, it's bad. Listen, if it got messed up by the time they got to it, that's the post office's fault. <laughs> when it left my care, it was wrapped perfectly. It was okay. You gonna need to take that up with USPS. <laughs> Nah, but like, I mean, if you package it properly, you know, like for me, I'm, I have the glass cups now, like the glass cans. I'm a little bit nervous about that, to be honest. But even then, I feel like if I put enough bubble wrap, if I put a box within a box, I think I should be fine. This is what I was telling you guys. Like, I don't like how sometimes it looks like if you can kind of see the leather through it or not through it, but like over it. So I'd rather have the cotton, have the overhang. Let me get caught up. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm busy here working. Um, Sarah, I haven't seen your stuff, but I'm sure. It's beautiful, Sandra. <laughs> I wish. So I actually got like a laser hair removal in New York before I moved down here. So I don't really have to shave for real. Like, if anything, I have a few little hairs, but it's minute. Like, it's it's not a thing. But I will definitely shower as soon as I get home. I love going to bed. Like, I love going home to, like, just take a shower. One, I hate clothes. But, like, as soon as I get home, I just hop in the shower and just, like, wash the day away. Does that make sense? Like, I just, I need to kind of, like, get all the nitty gritty off me from, like, the day to day. I feel like this is more than an inch. Yeah, this, this this one a little thick. Let's see. We might have to cut this down a little bit. Let, let us see. Yeah, because she's a, she a little thick. Bear with me, y'all. I feel like this might have been one of the end pieces. <laughs> We're going to cut her down just a tiny bit. Um, you guys may have missed this, but this video is brought to you today by uh by Sarah and her supplies that she politely gifted me during Christmas. <laughs> I would not be here if it was not for her. <laughs> All the things. All the things. Thank you so much, Sarah. I greatly, like, genuinely, genuinely appreciate all the things you got me. Like, I am so happy. I feel like I owe you, like, 20 more presents. <laughs> Like, did you, did you hear that? Like, just butter. <laughs> um, are they like digital designs? How does Bloom Flower work? Could you, um, could you sell it on Etsy? Like as a digital design, I'm sure people would buy it. I mean, y'all saw my, I mean, it's not rinky dink, but y'all saw my little uh, happy juice design. I think someone bought another one today. I've already had two sales. If it's anything like the stuff you've, I've seen you make, I'm sure it'll sell, girl. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I, I could not. I was like, ugh, I'm so behind the comments. I forgot what we were talking about. Yeah, I couldn't. I could not. Hey, Nancy. Oh, I'm so behind. Okay, let me get caught up, y'all. Sorry. Sorry. 
I've never been to a drive through theater. I want to go to one so bad. I think they, a, a couple came back because of COVID, but I wasn't able to go to one at the time. Yeah. Oh, definitely. For sure. I feel like some did kind of like resurface. You're listening, hi, Nairo. Girl, you and me both, sis. Like, ugh. The fact that I'm still freaking working, sis. Like, why is that even a thing? <laughs> oh, I did. I saw. I need to respond. I need to heart it. I think it was because I said, um, these que no. <laughs> yeah, my Dominican be real, real sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, they've come back. <laughs> I mean, a little bit because I couldn't get the, the fabric to fold over. <laughs> I'm like, where is she? Here she is. <laughs> yeah, because the way I fold it, it's like just enough. So it's like my seam allowance was not within the allowance. <laughs> Yeah, girl. I really appreciate it. Thank you. OMG. Okay. So, <laughs> so you guys know, like when I'm uh, crochet, or uh, yeah, I'm not crocheting. When I'm knitting, I have my scrap yarn. So I tend to take it off and put it in a bin, kind of like this one that Sarah got me. <clears throat> So I have a lot of my scraps that I reuse and I put in bins. So Daisy has taken it upon herself to play with my yarn because she sees mommy playing with yarn. She's like, I want to play with yarn. I want to eat yarn. So she'll go into my bin. Like if it's a low bin like this, I have higher bins that like she can't get into. Like this one. This one's like slightly higher up. So she can't, I can't even get it in frame. It's, it's taller. It's like maybe six or seven inches taller. But the smaller ones she can get into. So she'll pop her little head in and think it's a toy box and pick out my yarn. So I told her, no, don't play with my yarn. That's not for you. She left it alone and she went about her merry way. Well, she thought I was busy and wasn't looking and came back. I told her no, but what happened? I had my thing. I may have been charging my phone or I had the ring light on. Something was on that was plugged into the camera. She tried to be sneaky and grab the yarn anyways well in the process of doing all that she knocked the camera over and i was just like girl i done told you no <laughs> no <laughs> i was so over it like why you gotta be so hard-headed Hey, Elroy. Thanks for joining. I was so, so upset, Sandy. Like, you have no idea. Yes, I want to get one. I saw, I think the one that she put on there is gone. But I want to buy one. I think they have them on Amazon, too. But, of course, they're, like, twice the price. I feel like I just cut her and she's still thick. You don't know where you put it? Oh. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. I have a few more left. Yeah. 
A lot of you guys weren't here earlier. No, you're not buying me anything else, Elroy. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I thought they have like the magnetic clips too. There's some that like help you kind of like fold fabric into a certain kind of way. Okay, Bet Mary, thank you. Oh, I didn't tell you. Okay, so earlier, I told some of the girls that were on earlier because clearly we've been on here for a hot minute. Um, I was working on these tags, and Nai, this Nairo, this is how they came out. This one has like slight ghosting, but there's a good reason why. <laughs> um, so I was working on the heat press that I have here at the borough, the one that I got for free. Girl, why did I almost cause a fire? Not once, but twice. <laughs> twice the cord i think what was going on it was it danny like her cord was acting up it sparked the cord sparked not once but twice i got it on camera the first time it sparked the second time it sparked i was trying to move it to get it off the wall because i'm like oh crap it sparked so i'm trying to move it to get it off the wall there may or may not be us uh, scorch marks on the wall right now <laughs> But, so I was trying to move it to get it off and then it sparked again. So I was like, okay, I need to unplug this immediately before I burn the whole building down. So I take it off, whatever it is. I said, okay, I was like, well, maybe it's the cord. Cause I remember Danny was saying, you know, we, everyone was suggesting Danny just buy a new cord. Well, one of the guys here has a cord. So he's like, oh, just use one of my cords, blah, blah, blah. Cause it's like the three, the three prong power cord. So I was like, but let me see. Maybe the cord was just old or it was like, to, like bent upwards, whatever. It was not the cord, y'all, because <laughs> here I am cutting fabric. I started cutting the white leather to make these. And, you know, I'm just here, do do I plugged it in. Okay, I'm like, oh, you know, it's, it turned on. Everything's looking good. Um, <laughs> I'm cutting fabric. I'm like, it smells a little smoky. And, you know, sometimes when you put on a heat press, it, you know, it smells a little, it smells a little, especially like when you're doing sublimation, whatever, it's not chemicals, whatever. Well, <laughs> when I tell you I looked up and this room was falling, like it was starting to fill up with smoke, I was like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. I was like, crap, crap. So I look over. And there's smoke coming off the cord. And it's literally like to the right of me. Because again, this is a shared space. So there's a lot of us here kind of like who use the space. So I'm literally kind of like tucked away in the corner. And you guys will kind of see it in like the later videos that I post. But bruh, I, un I had to grab like a scrap piece of this that I had from the cuts that I made. And I had to, I used that to unplug the cord because of course the cord is literally melting as it's smoking. So I used that to unplug it off the wall. Then I unplug it off the the heat press itself because it's still like half melted. Let me grab the cord. The cord was melting. <laughs> oh, hold on, I have to unplug this because I'm literally I'm literally stuck in here. Hold on. <laughs> Let me grab the cord, bro. When I tell you fire hazard, fire hazard. I'm I'm gonna need Danny to not ever use her heat press because I'm scared that this is gonna happen to her. So look at the cord. You see how shiny it is. It was not shiny. It was, this was the melt. <laughs> it melted. <laughs> Look at this. Do you see the wire? You can see the wire. Oh, but this is my favorite part where I, <laughs> where the white, uh, the faux leather is attached from when I pulled it off because it was melting. Look, look at this. When I tell you electrical fire, <laughs> electrical fire. I had to open like the main doors because just like <laughs> bro smoke look wire oh, bro the stress I was like yeah no absolutely not I was like this can't be a thing I'm not gonna die <laughs> because of my heat press I refuse 
Yeah, I got feet. I got these feet from Amazon. You can't see them. I got these feet from Amazon. I love it because it helps with the pleather. Because the feet I had before just weren't, they weren't doing what they needed to do. <gasps> they don't ship to Canada? How disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> It was bad. <laughs> it it was bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sure your big heat press is good. This one was free. And, you know, maybe it had run its course. So, you know, I mean, I got a good couple months out of her. I can't complain. You know, I still have another one at home. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it is all good. Ooh, bet. Maybe that's how they're able to get things here so quickly. Okay, we're almost done. And then we're going to get back to sewing. Once I finish these up, I'm going to sew the elastics. And there's going to be a lot of sewing action. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, <laughs> that was literally my face, Nancy. I was like, all I need to do is like burn the building down and get a loss to like get sued. <laughs> like just, that's all you need now. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> I feel like they're fairly new. Maybe that's why. They might be trending too. I feel like once you watch one thing or talk about one thing once, like it just got shoved down your throat. Like I remember I used to like look at, I used to love looking at rings, like jewelry. I'm obsessed with like rings and bracelets. And all the time like if i ever looked up a ring for the next week and a half all my ads would be rings 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 facebook instagram rings and i'm just like bruh i looked up a ring once or i didn't even think i looked it up i think i mentioned it on a phone call i was telling my friend i was like oh babe i saw this ring and blah blah, blah. no rings everywhere on my feet <laughs> all over and i'm just like okay th this is enough thank you They definitely be taking advantage of those search algorithms, that's for sure. Let's see. Yeah, that's on that's the only thing that was plugged in here. I think there might be a computer plugged in on the other side of the room. But nothing else is plugged in. Like, and I'm the only, I'm literally the only person here because the market ended at like five. And of course, I'm the only nut job still here, like after dark by myself. So <clears throat> I was like, what is happening? <clears throat> it did not like me. <laughs> Obviously, the cord wasn't even mine because at this point it was a borrowed cord. And I was like, yeah, I kind of melted your cord. How much do I owe you? <laughs> Because you can never use that. Like, I don't, yeah, <laughs> that's that's not a thing. It's it's not, it's no longer safe. Not a cart full. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That's so smart. That'll be dope too. Possibly. I mean, and that's smart. Especially now while they're trending. Like, they need to get on it now. Mm 
Google knows all. Yo, between Google and Apple, our whole lives. Yeah, that's bomb. And that way you can also see, like, so that influencer too, like, for Liz specifically, like, she got things she wanted or needed. But it's like, we get to also see, like, what they have available. I went on there looking for, a la like, an elastic supplier. Um, if, I don't know if you guys remember, I mentioned that I was using black elastic. I already went through that whole roll of black elastic. So I made three more orders. I ordered, I ordered white ones. But I ordered from different manufacturers. There was two 20-yard rolls. And then I found one person that was selling a 50-yard roll. So I was like, okay, let me test all of these. So I put one aside. Where is it? Right here. I have one aside to kind of, like, test and compare all of them. To see, like, you know, flexibility, stretch, you know, bendability, stuff like that. You know, just to kind of see how things go. Okay, we have one more and then scrunchy time. Well, after this. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, Mary, I'll see you. Out here making bank. Ladies, what time is it? I can't see the time on my um on my phone. And I, of course, like the smart person that I am, I think I forgot my tablet at the house. Oh wait, I have the D uh, I have the oh, oh my god, I was gonna say I have the DS with me. I have the switch. Let me see. It's it's not dead. Oh yeah, this okay, it's not dead. Oof, it's ten o'clock. Okay, let's let's get to work. All right, we're almost done. I feel like we're getting to the end. Oh, this is what I was using. I was like, where'd it go? I love the, this rattling sound. I'm sorry if anyone hates it, but I, I love it. Let me plug myself back in. It's finna get loud, y'all. It's gonna get loud. You've been warned. Oh, I worked on these earlier today. Honestly, like, I'm really proud of my progress, y'all. Um, these are just the straight knit, or not straight knit, but straight fabric, um, like, cotton ones. So they're cotton on both sides. But, yeah. This is a little sneak peek of my Valentine's Day collection. Y'all saw some of this fabric or yarn. Fabric. I keep... <laughs> I'm so used to confusing yarn with fabric that I, like, just corrected myself incorrectly. And then these are some that I already had, too, which are the dual-sided ones. But, of course, since I don't have any more tags and I couldn't make any more tags without burning the building down, we will be making tags tomorrow morning when I wake up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I can make one. Um, I have the little hardware thing right here, too. <laughs> um, so let me let me just plug in, move some things around. And I'll even show you how I put my price tags on them as well, Sandy. I got you, boo. Oh, bet. I have a code. Drop it down in the um in the in the chat, Mary, if you want. I don't know, or anyone can drop it for her. 
I don't know if I have you as a mod. I don't even know who my mods are, honestly. <laughs> Ain't nobody on here trying to do nothing. Ooh, maybe I can make one. If I have like extra fabric or fabric left over, I can make one. That's dope. Cause I feel like sometimes too with this, I'm scared that I'm gonna spill it and drop it. So I feel like a bag would be nice. <clears throat> oh wait, I have silk bags too that I bought for like the the bookmarks and stuff as like a gift. Like gift, like if um someone wanted to use it as like a if they put a gift with purchase. Sorry, my words. <laughs> <laughs> bruh i was like oh crap when i literally oh my god when i looked up and i saw that the room the room was covered in smoke i was like oh crap <laughs> like the oh crap moment that was not the word crap hit me and i was like oh my god oh oh my god <laughs> yes <laughs> you know it's bad when you like yell at yourself <laughs> What is happening here? Okay. What's funny is that like, I don't think you guys can hear cause it's like super faint and I have the door closed, but I can hear the music from the bar next door. Like, People are living their best lives. And while I'm enjoying myself sewing right now, I'd like to be at the bar next door. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> the struggle, y'all, the struggle. They can definitely try, girl. <laughs> we got we got fake it till we make it, sis. <laughs> Bruh, just just about. <laughs> just about. Okay. I was like I thought I missed a little corner there. I did not. Okay, but put the, the code in the description, Mary. Put, use that plug, girl. I want you to get all your coins. I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram. I was re-watching... Um, 
not rewatching. I hadn't seen it the first time because I hadn't known of her channel then. But Liz's uh, twelve hour live. <laughs> I'm still not done. It's been like three days. No, it's been like it's been more than it's been two weeks. But I've adamantly been watching it for like the last three days. But I keep pausing it or getting distracted with like gameplay and like I'm all over the place. <laughs> I feel like I need to tuck it out a little more. There we go. Almost dropped one. You lived it. <laughs> yeah, it was a long one. I love that for her, honestly. If I were ever to do something like that, it would definitely have to be on the weekends. Because <laughs> with work, it would not be a thing. It would have to be a Saturday for sure. I mean, like, I feel like my lives are generally pretty long now. <laughs> So if anything, maybe once I hit a thousand, I might try doing like a six hour or something. Like every milestone, I might do like a six hour. But I think six hours is the longest I can go. Between like events here at the borough and Daisy, y'all would be sick of me and all the random noise in my background. I saw the, I'm actually on your part now, I think, when you guys were doing the, um, like the heating pad or the heat pad, the casserole pad, something like that. Um, or was Mia on there? I don't remember if Mia was before or after you. I think I'm on the Mia part with her and her onesie. <laughs> Too cute. I bought that onesie for my sister. <laughs> she has that one. Wow. Not an all-nighter. I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm gonna need you to tuck in French. Thanks. With the light you guys can't really see what's happening <laughs> you just hear the machine like drilling away Yeah, that's what it was, the hot pads.
they definitely are fun. I feel like sometimes too, like when I'm at work and I'm not particularly bored, but like unmotivated or kind of just like need something, I'll just turn on a live and just kind of like watch it. And I feel like while I might not be enjoying what I am doing at the moment, I can kind of at least like entertain myself with something that I enjoy. And thankfully my boss does allow me to kind of watch stuff like that. I don't, I'm not like engrossed in it or anything, but like, you know, just like nice background noise. Even stuff like this, like just watching someone sew, it's calming to me. If I can still get work done and like listen to a sewing machine like rattle, oh my God. Why not? sewing with my middle finger <laughs> someday yeah i don't know about that 12 hour i'm down for a six hour i will definitely do a six hour that 12 though mm -hmm. i'm gonna need your help if we get there maybe if i got to like 10k i might do a 12 hour i might just do two six or yeah two six hours I think the longest I've been on is like two, three hours, maybe. I might tap on an extra hour to my longest and then do six hour later on or so. I don't know, bro. I told y'all. <laughs> Almost made it though. We're like right here. Babe, I'm making um keychains. Yeah, I love it. Just like especially one that work just to kind of like again having myself like motivation for myself. Sarah, are you still here? <laughs> This is another gift that Sarah got me for Christmas. Um, the blue holds all the empty ones. <laughs> um, but when I'm in the apartment, like not my apartment, but like when I'm in the house by myself, it used to be my apartment. I would just watch just to kind of like one have background noise, but it's just, it feels like someone's there with you. Like it was weird living by myself for the like for that first year when I did have my apartment. It was just so awkward. Like the silence was like deafening some days. So let's go back. <laughs> We're gonna have to back stitch a little bit too.
it's too bright yeah you can't see with the with the light if i turn it off it just it won't turn on <laughs> i'm almost done though once i do this i'm gonna assemble one for uh for sandy so that you guys can see the finished product or the whole aspect of it technically let me see if i can maybe change the angle i don't think that might make anything better yeah mm -mm. maybe if i lowered you guys some let's see but if i feel like if i lower you you're not gonna really my hand is gonna be in the way fingers basically <laughs> no i'm not gonna sew my fingers you're just gonna watch my fingers is what's happening <laughs> Just, ugh, I knew it. My thread. Y'all gonna watch me struggle again. I knew it. It was too good to be true. It lasted too long. Well, I spoke I spoke too soon. That went fairly smooth. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, we have Four more, and then we're done. All right, let's see. Well, with the keychains, we still have scrunchies, y'all. We still got scrunchies. I know you can't really see what I'm doing all that well, but let me, I want to move you guys. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Let us rotate. Okay. Let's see if you can see better from over here. Um, the fabric, I want a little bit of the fabric to kind of stay out. Turn the light off. I want the fabric to kind of stay out a little bit like we did on this side. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of just fixing the fabric because when I did pin it, even though I thought I pinned it with some extra fabric out, there wasn't that much out. So I'm making sure that when I'm sewing now, I do go out and tuck some of that fabric out because I want there to be um, some of that fabric out. I hope that made any type of sense. <laughs> Is it weird? But like I sometimes prefer to sew barefoot so I can like actually grab the like pedal. Is, it, is that just me? Am I the only oddball? Please tell me I'm not weird.
Babe, when you come down to visit, I'll make you a skull keychain. <laughs> so you can take back up with you to New York. I'll make you a black leather and skull one. It's gonna be cat. Cute but manly. For a fee, <laughs> oh, for a few, <laughs> fail. <laughs> that was funny though. <laughs> you want to know what's funny, uh, Michelle? I was looking at like my um my the crap the words bro the words I was looking at my content like the the analysis and stuff like on YouTube Studio more than 70% of my subscribers are men bro what men first of all <laughs> or no not my subscribers the people who watch my content are men cuz they're not I don't think they're subscribed so, excuse me, like more than 70% of the people who watch my content are men. And I'm like, what men? It'd be straight women on my lives. Like, I'm very much confused. I hope this angle is slightly better for you guys. I feel like if I put it like directly in front of me and right to my legs, you guys could probably see better, but then I couldn't see. <laughs> and then that would be bad. Okay, we have one more, y'all. One more. I'll do a complete one, and then we'll move on to scrunchies. That's weird. Whenever I hear that's weird, I automatically think of like Cardi and like her voice. That's weird. <laughs> I can't even mimic her, but just, yeah. <laughs> They're the lurkers. Possibly. Like, what is she doing today? <laughs> Bruh, nothing that to excite you, I promise you. Love it. Okay, let's see. Let 
I'm gonna move you again. So so sorry. Oof. Okay. Now you can go between my legs. <laughs> oh, that did not sound right. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. <laughs> holding your finger yeah I would like that too we kind of need all the fingers <laughs> exactly not me stabbing myself with my scissors <laughs> did y'all peep that But I love I ha I love having the little like pile. This one isn't that satisfying, but like I just I like how they're also always connected too. So I'm gonna put the leather is gonna go in this way. I don't know why I just put that away. I need to like sew a tag in so I can show you how I close on off. Okay, let's see. All right, so I don't know if you guys recall or were here when I was cutting the fabric. When I cut the fabric, I cut about a quarter of an inch extra because the leather the faux leather is a little bit stretchier granted the cotton does allow for some of that stretch to be reduced but i feel like there was always a little bit more of the vegan leather or the faux leather to the cotton so i always just make it a little bit longer and then i just snip off the excess i don't have to snip off all of it because either way i'm still gonna sew it up in a hot second but i just like having it extra so that i just have it a little bit longer Okay, now we're going to use one of my tags that we failed at. So we're going to have to slide this back over for like a hot second. So what I like to do, generally with the way my old tags were, they were cotton tags. It had my business name on one side and then like wash with care or blah, blah, blah on the other side. So I would kind of fold it down like this, sew it, and then have it kind of come across like this. I hope this makes sense. So it would look like that. So where my name would be here, and then this would kind of get tucked in, you wouldn't be able to really see any of that. Now things are a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is kind of put like a pin here to kind of hold that closed. So like hold it together. It's not closed. It's not going to do anything. So I'm going to pin the top and the bottom just to kind of keep it straight. Okay, so this is my new tag. What I'm thinking about doing is, whoops, let's not drop that. This is the hardware. The hardware will come here. Right, so I'm thinking of maybe putting it in the back side, like this maybe. Ooh. Again, let's let's not drop you. Kind of having it something like this, and then just having it like flapping. I don't I don't know yet, but we're gonna we're gonna do it for this one just because you know prototype. Yeah, and then I actually might keep this one for myself because it's really it's really cat. Okay, so let's see. And there's like ghosting and stuff on this. So I'm going to, so, okay. This fabric is also like slightly directional. And then there is, this is the front of the clasp or that this is what I've designated as the front. And then this is the back of the clasp. I'm gonna want the tag to be on the back side. So where the hearts are going uh, the wrong direction I'm going to put my tag on the back side but I do still want it to be legible to the person who's looking at it so we're going to kind of do it this way and then again I'm just going to check to see at, with this length how it'll look with it on I think that's fairly decent let me get her on yeah that looks good so I'm going to try and sew around here again I want this fairly centered so I'm going to try and pin over here so that it doesn't move too much while I'm sewing for the most part. Yeah, 
feel like that should give me enough room. Okay, so let's, let's get sewing. You guys still can't see. <laughs> Lovely. All right, so let me get her in here. I'm going to move my needle over a little bit so it can get closer to the side. Oh, I just unthreaded my machine. So let's thread her back up again. Let's, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit. I'm sure once or twice is enough, but your girl likes to be extra. You're gonna see in a hot second when I do these scrunchies. <laughs> And I like to actually start and end on this. Oh, you can't see me. <laughs> Let me move down further. I like to start and end on the same side so it's easier for me to cut and there's less things for me to cut, if that makes sense. Like, it's just all on the same side. Let me get rid of these little pieces. Clean her up some, you know, give her a nice little, a little trim, a little trimmy trim. Okay, so again, this is the front. This is the back with my little tag. Okay, and now the hardware that I have, I'll, I can't do it now because I'm on my phone and I don't have my tablet. But if you guys rewatch this, I will um, try and get all the links and stuff down below um, for the leather. The fabric is from Joann's, like you guys know. I have, there. I think I get a hundred of these at a time. And then I just bought this separately, this little piece here. There may have been a bundle with this and then the tags. No, I lied. I bought this separately and then I got the tags. So when I first started making the keychains, I noticed that like if I pulled really hard on them, it would still come out. So what I personally like to do like the little teeths here. I don't know if you can tell they're at kind of, if this is zero, right? It's at like a negative 45 degree angle-ish. Like it, it kind of comes down a little bit. I want to lift up the teeth more so that when it hooks into the fabric, and I'll show you here. I hope any of this makes sense. If you see here, like I like to kind of put this against the flat side. It's going to hook into the fabric here. But I feel like it doesn't hook enough with the way that it is now. So what I like to do is grab some of my regular scissors and kind of lift the teeth up to get it more so like a 60, not a 90, so that it's like straight out, like straight across, but like slightly higher. I hope any of that makes sense. So you see how it's kind of coming down? I want it to come up a little bit more, but not all the way up. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I don't be making sense all the time. Where are my scissors? Here we go. All right, so I'm grabbing my scissors. And I'm going to put them underneath here, underneath the teeth. And I'm gonna just going to push up a little. Does that make sense? I'm pushing up. So you can kind of tell the difference already, right? So if I'm looking at it straight down the barrel, right? Not me talking about the barrel like it's a gun. But you can see this one's higher up and that one is still facing down. Does that make sense? Like it's further out more. Not all the way out. Like it's not a straight... A 90 degree angle but more so like a 60 degree now and this is what i mean about me and numbers and math <laughs> the nerd is starting to come out all right let me pop this up literally this is all i do i just i pop it up a little bit more so it can grip on to more fabric okay so that's that yeah also know that i'm super anal and i like to repeat everything the same exact way so in the front 
the two the teeth of this. Hey Maria, let me kind of lift back up again. The mouth of this, it's kind of curved down. Like this is the the smile and this is the frown. Does that make sense? Or like it's just it this is a smile, like it's a smile up. But this kind of engraves down and this engraves. Y'all yeah, know what I'm trying to say, y'all. I can't, the words, it's late. I want this to be on the front. <laughs> I want the front to be kind of rounded up, kind of like my nail. I want it to be rounded up. I don't want it to be dented down. I hope that makes sense. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So this is the front. Let me kind of, I need to back up or move the table forward. So I'm, I need to show you what I'm doing. Okay. I want to show you better. Bear with me, y'all, because it's a struggle. My brain is not working. Okay. So this is the back. I need to flip this, right? This is how I do it, because if not, I will drop it. If I put it here, it literally just slides up. That does nothing for me, right? Like, it's sliding. It's not It's not doing anything. I have to kind of put it on the side here. This. It's not going anywhere. So you can kind of see here, right, what's happening. I am going, this is the front. The part that's facing me is the front. This is the back. This is going to be in the back, right? So I need to angle this now in here so that it's nice and neat and that, you know, I get more or less the same amount on either side of the teeth. I need to see what I'm doing. So we're going to kind of just move over here. So we're more or less even, and then I'm just gonna squeeze closed. Okay, I don't squeeze it all the way yet because if I need to manipulate, I can try to manipulate it now, right? So you can see there's a little bit overhang on either side and I'm okay with that, that's fine, right? This is my logo, it's more or less where I wanted it, right? You can kind of see the name. So it's on here, I'm trying to manipulate it a little over some. All right, it's, you can kind of see where it started biting into it, but not entirely. So now what I'm gonna do is squeeze the death or the life out of this. I'm gonna squeeze it, okay? I'm kind of squeezing from either side. And again, that way this is kind of curved. You can kind of see the curve here. You can definitely see the indent on this side, how it indents in. That's why I like doing it on the back side. okay? Um, so yeah. I come in across this way perpendicular and I squeeze it some more, but always with the same side, like that same smiley part. Okay, on either side, let me get rid of these clips. Come on in here, over, over here. Let's squeeze, squeeze. And that's it. She, she ain't out. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you can see here. The fabric is under there, right? I'm trying to pull hard. She's she's not going nowhere. Ew. <laughs> I need to chill. But yeah, and then this is the keychain. My little logo. My logo trying to slide off. Oh, yeah. This, this be her. So I'm going to cut these up and put it in the basket with the other ones that are basically ready. None of these have tags or anything on them. So I need to go ahead and finish these. Or I'm going to cut these up and then add it to this pile here. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys kind of accompany me while I do that. And then let me kind of get my little trash together. Thank you. Okay, let's run to my little pal. Where is the ending? Here we go. And at this point, too, I kind of cut off any excess. Like here, it's a little wonky. This one's a little, a little sideways. This is a little drunk. 
So I'm going to cut off the excess here. And then get any extra here as well. All right, kind of get it ready to just close with my tag. I'm making a little trash probably here. And then I'm going to also sort them so that I can put them away in my little bin, nice and sorted. And generally right now for my keychains, I think I do have like multiple backing options for these, especially with them being a holiday or like a seasonal font. These are just going to have white. I like how the white looks. Slap happy. <laughs> oh, Lord. You lurk, girl. How was work? You just getting home from, like, you're just getting out of work now? We were talking earlier, you started work. Thank you. I really like that fabric, honestly. It's not me, it's the fabric. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> but honestly, like, I like how the white and the, like, the white plays off the red. I love how cute it looks together. And then I have that, remember that red satin that I have, like, that tango red? I want to do the back black, like the full leather black. So it'll be like you have the the cute, like innocent mini polka dot situation going on with like the white and the white and red polka dots. And then you have like the satin and the black. I think that's going to be like super cute, kind of like day and night type thing. I like it. I like it a lot. But thank you. Did I cut the extra fabric? Yes. Yes, I did. I was like, what, what did I do? <laughs> Oh, see, this has extra, so I don't even have to cut the ends. I just cut the extra fabric. We're going to try to put her in this pile over here, even though she a little wonky. She leaning. They're all, what is happening? <laughs> My heart's leaning. Ow, that would be my finger. So we're gonna cut off the excess. And I'll inspect these more a little better tomorrow. Kind of give them the final check. Ooh, let's not knock over the camera. This one I definitely had to sew again because my bobbin ran out. I really like this fabric too, y'all. Like the hard, the glitter. I feel like the glitter is so cute. That was a long shift, Maria. But get them hours, girl. Oh, wait, not me missing the whole top of this. I really like this, the fabric too for this one. It's so Easter. Like it reminds me of the eggs, like the Easter eggs.
So these are for sure gonna go on Etsy. That's why I kind of wanted to get them one done for the store, but like just have ready so I can take like merch pictures and stuff like that. Get a good use out of them, test them out, all that good stuff. Figure out if I do need to order tags, if my tags start acting up where I can't make them like I wanted to, I should be able to kind of like still be able to order them from someone. But I think I'll be able to make them. I just trial and error on my part, I think. We're almost there. I just thought of the meme, like, I'm tired of this, Grandpa. <laughs> Bruh. That's literally my mind, like, all day. Constantly thinking about memes or reels. I just got like eerily quiet. So sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so focused. <laughs> Can you tell I'm bad at multitasking? <laughs> I feel like it just got like dumb silent. I was like, oh, crap. I mean, I like silence, but I don't know if that's not what y'all here for. <laughs> so... <laughs> I enjoy me some good quiet time. This is, how did, what, what is happening? Okay, we're just gonna cut this <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> I've actually stabbed myself. I think with this exact pair of scissors, it's probably really faint and you can't really see it, but like right around here, let me see. I don't think the camera's focusing either. But now I'm trying to focus my hand by putting my other hand behind it. Around here, I stabbed myself. And it went straight in. Like the beak went straight in to like around here. So it went in a good centimeter. And then, of course, it happened here. And we did not have a first aid kit at the moment. We have one now, thanks to me. But we didn't have one before. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to have that because I'm accident prone. <laughs> I have a lot of sharp objects. <laughs> As she stabs herself again. Okay, so we're done with these. We're gonna sort them in the loop. <laughs> Excuse me, in the little bit. I mean, they're sorted already, cause again, y'all know I'm anal, it's bad. <laughs> but didn't they come out so cute? If I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm really happy with how they came out. And I, I genuinely, genuinely like how it's like white behind them. Like, it's just, like, it looks clean and fresh, and I feel like it's very spring. I think for the ones that we're going to have at the Painted Tree Boutique, I think they might be, I think the girl, Nancy, wants me to use rose gold. I have to double check with her. But, like, I think all the, uh, I was going to say scrunchies, all the keychains I make for her are going to have rose gold. And then, like, so... This brown or this keychain has brown, but I feel like it looks really cute with the sunflower. Let me kind of try and get these in here. So I made all of these today, y'all. 
Well, no, I think I got half of them started last night. But I feel like this is good progress for the weekend, honestly. Like, I have about three or four of every color down. I'm done. It's just a matter of putting tags and uh, doing the hardware. And this, I can just do here one evening or even during, like, uh, the day, like, when the store's open. Um, but these have brown. I feel like it goes well with this fabric. A little bin, a little, little baggy here for trash. Um, let's see, I'm behind on comments. Oh, I'm we're behind on comments, y'all. Be, I'm so sorry. Oh, bet. See, I told you, girl. Get them extra hours. Whoever that was, you got to get the number. Be like, friend, next time, you know, hit me up. I got you. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Listen, doing nothing is important to Sandy. Did you not miss that part when I was talking about doing nothing is important? I'm trying to do nothing tomorrow, which is why I'm, I did all this today. Okay. I'm trying to get all this stuff done now so that tomorrow I can play. I want to play Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> um, I need to crochet a skirt for my friend. So hopefully I'll get that done. But I mean, she said if I don't do it, it's okay. And she understands. But. I want to play at least like an hour. I need to finish the the Christmas quest. I think I have two tasks left. I don't think you guys care about my Disney Dreamlight Valley um, play. But <laughs> I all I have left to do is give um, Anna and Elsa's their favorites. That's it. That's all I have to do left. And then like I want to do that so I can buy all the good stuff. I think we have a couple days left. So it's like I need to get her done now. Um, okay, so that was the keychains. We're done one last time, little, little keychain. Okay, now we're gonna move on to. I actually think I have to. I'm gonna switch bobbins and stuff. I technically don't have to because it's gonna be on the inside. Should we switch? No, screw it. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's not knock you over. Grab all the scrunchie. Oi, 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 oi. Okay. I have two little mini bins of scrunchies. Again, I don't think Sarah's here anymore, but today's video is brought to you by Sarah's <laughs> contributions. <laughs> Her Christmas contributions. <laughs> oh, let's not fall. Okay. <gasps> oh, I'm so jealous. You're going to become so obsessed. It's so, so good. Like for me, I've always loved like RPG games, like role playing games. And it's just like, it's just nice to walk around the valley and do nothing. <laughs> okay, but enjoy your dinner, Maria. I haven't. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is what I be telling y'all. I get so wrapped up in like stuff you aren't leaving it right no girl <laughs> we have two bins of uh scrunchies <laughs> i'm gonna be here a little longer maybe may maybe a little more <laughs> um but bruh okay so i was cleaning and stuff early this morning i showered you know we were speaking earlier right uh maria um i went i delivered the package and stuff that i had to deliver and then I was like, you know what? Let me eat before I get here because the last thing I need to do is be hangry at the borough and some customers say something smart. So whatever. And, you know, I was like, okay, let me, let me not, right? So I stopped and got 
Burger King because of course y'all know I don't cook. I can't. I just I'd never have the money or the time or the energy. No, that's a lie. I just I don't have the energy and I don't make time to cook for myself. A lot of the times when I get really excited, I'm like, I know I get motivated to go buy groceries. Whoops. I get motivated to go buy groceries. They end up going bad and I refuse to waste food. So I just buy what I'm going to eat already cooked <laughs> because that's that's what we do. I've come to terms with it. It is what it is. Anyways, so I was like, let me stop and get Burger King because I'm also slightly addicted to Burger King. And, you know, I'm just going to eat that before I get to the borough. Ladies, I have not eaten anything else. I had Burger King at, what time was that? Maybe 1.30, 2 o'clock? I have not eaten anything else all day. And what time is it? Where's the, um, I was going to call it a DS again, the Nintendo Switch. It's probably dead now. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. I ate one time today. And by the time I get home, it's late. Like, there's no point in me eating now. Or if I do eat, it's going to be trash food. So, like... Is that enough? I had Burger King this morning. I'm not going to have cookout. Oh, on a Saturday night? Absolutely not. I'm going straight home. And uh, yeah, we're going to bed. <laughs> so no dinner for me. Because I refuse. So I'm going to show you how I do this. Because I use the wide elastic, I can sew the seam. I've already glued it. It's dry. It's been in here for a minute. So all I'm going to do now is sew it. And like I said before, I like it's good. Obviously, I'm going to start here and then come down. I'm going to sew back and forth a couple times. And then I'm also going to leave on the same side. So that when I go cutting it, I only have to cut on one side and not both. I hope that made sense. I hope that made sense. I don't know if I'm in the way. So we're going to kind of, whoops. Move up a little bit. Yeah, Sarah was bomb, Maria. Yeah, girl, you got to start it with time because I'm addicted. I think I started Christmas Day and there was like Christmas quests and stuff. I'm obsessed. There's going to be Valentine's Day stuff too. That was my Christmas present to myself and my sister, I guess, because she plays it now too. She's she's obsessed. Like, I'll be playing and watching gameplay, and she's like, are you playing and watching gameplay? Yes, yes, I am, sis. Is there a problem? <laughs> Don't judge me. I was like, you watch gameplay because I used to watch gameplay. Like, hello. Mm, let me see. Bruh, honestly, it makes sense, Michelle. And you know what? Not calling you fat or anything. But because we don't eat, we last so long not eating. Our bodies are storing, like, our metabolisms are trash. Because it's like, okay, our bodies don't know when we're going to eat again. So they just don't eat. Like, they're just like, okay, we need to store everything in case she doesn't feed us. Bruh, it's a thing. We make it so much worse for ourselves. Like, my metabolism, oh, I know my metabolism is trash. I cut mine at nine. I don't know if that's long enough or not. I try to see Taylor's length. I think that's what she had hers cut at. I'm honestly not even sure. I started at nine. I like nine. I'm going to test it out. I've been literally wearing the same scrunchie like <laughs> all week. Let me take it out. It's probably cringe and gross because there's hair all over. I need to wash my hair. L literally hair all over it. One second. <laughs> Let me gather my scrunchie. But yeah, this is a cotton one. And I like it. I mean, it still has a nice give to it. I put it around my hair twice and it holds it. I genuinely do like it. Like I can feel the elastic on the inside. And because of the method that I'm using, it actually holds the elastic in place. Like it's right here, the elastic. I love it. I can put it around twice and it has a nice hold to it. Like it's still like... 
Ooh, she tight. She got a nice little grip, little grippy grip. I like it. I think nine is a good length for me. And then again, I'm still sewing over it. So I have about maybe half inch um, seam allowance. So technically eight and a half. But I'm definitely no expert. <laughs> yeah, I sew over. So I have it glued. I'm going to sew. I sew over this a couple times back and forth. And then I end up tucking in the tails. Excuse me. So this is one that I haven't closed up, right? You can see because this is black. I had white on here before. So I take one end. I tuck one in. And then I just kind of, I well, I try to find the seam, right? So this is the seam. Let me flip it, I guess. This is a seam. I try to line up the seam. So this is going to be like the back or the inside of this scrunchie, right? So I'm going to tuck her in. And then just fold it. And then I do the same thing all the way around with cotton. What do you mean? I tuck it in and then because this is the back I literally just like flip it over and then I make sure this side is also tucked in properly oh yeah I saw over the entire thing um so here is my full seam so from top to bottom it's sewn all the way across this is probably like a horrible example um oh I have scrunchies here so this is a cotton one. This is what it looks like. This is the back or the bad side. If I flip it, this is, oh, well, no, because I didn't, um, I ran out of tags, so I didn't, or no. What happened? I didn't have my tags, so I made these the other day. This I'm going to take with me to the Painted Tree Boutique for Nancy. So, yeah, and I did it, like, once or twice. Or if I feel like I missed something, I would go back. Um, this is what the other fabrics look like too. It's, I feel like it, this, you can see it less with the prints. And again, like this is what it looks like used. So like, I mean, y'all know I'm using a scrunchie. <laughs> you can barely tell, like you can't really see it all that much. And I like that the main outside seam, I'd rather have honestly, per personal preference. I'd rather have this one seam on this one section than the full outside seam throughout the entire like i like that my seam technically is on the inside all i have is just one seam everything else is seamless i like this i prefer this but that's my personal preference let me show you the silk the red silk oh my god guys when i tell you obsessed look look she thick y'all see this Again, just that one seam. And then, the again, the inside seam, you don't see it. So, like, just... Uh, Y'all see her? Just thick. She has a nice little stretch. She ain't going nowhere. This. And then what I like about it being nine, my wrists are fairly small. But, like, you see how it's kind of just, like, laying over it? Like, it's move, it's loose. I like that. I don't like scrunchies to be tight, like cutting off my circulation. Like my blood got to flow. I like it. It's like super soft. And this is like that stretch satin too. So it like I feel like it gives it even a little extra give too. I've been looking at fabric to like just to buy in general. Joann's has stretch fabric, but they don't really have a lot of inventory in stock. So I was looking online. I think I found a website that has like, it said cotton, no. Stretch chemise cotton, or I keep saying cotton. Stretch chemise satin. I don't know what chemise means, 
but it looks like this. So if it's like this, the, the content is, I think, 97% polyester, 3% spandex. So I'm assuming it's more or less similar to this. And I think it was like a quarter of the price of Joanne's. And I feel like for Joanne, I think this was maybe 58, the width of the skein, like the width of the fabric, like a uh, width of fabric, W-O-F. I feel like theirs was between 58 and 60. And then I did half. So this is maybe I think like 30, 28. So she, she, she a little fluffy. Um, but yeah. Um, I love it. I like how they came out. I'm really happy with it. I hope other people like them too. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I'm going to see. I hope they sell well. Um, I personally use my scrunchie as kind of like a sock for my buns. So I do like it to be a little fluffy. Um, and again, my hair is fairly thick, so it hides the, like the, the scrunchie well. But I am thinking of having like not skin tone, but like hair tones. So if someone else does do it for like a sock and their hair isn't as full as mine, they can still probably, you know, use the like the sock, the use a scrunchie as a sock. And what I mean by that is like when you put it on your scalp, you kind of cover your hair over it to kind of like make it fluffier. Um, I want to get some like hair tones. So, you know, like I want to get like a blonde or a light brown, black, stuff like that. So that you can kind of like camouflage it better with your hair. Um, so I want to do like hair tones. I think I want to do like a hair tone collection. But obviously we're going to, I'm still kind of starting with the satin in general that I have. And then, we're, you know, we're going to go from there. Little by little. I'm not trying to bite off more than I can chew. See if these sell. Stuff like that. Yeah, and it's tight. It holds. It holds tight. Like, let me, I just put my hair back up. But, and then you guys know, like, again, with the ticky talk, like Michelle said, you know, you remember the video where it's like, don't be suspicious. Don't, don't like, not that one. Oh, it's like, oh, how would they know? They're not going to know. Or something like, something about them not knowing. I've always wanted to do a reel with that. I think I tried doing one with like my velvet scrunchies, but I just never posted it. I definitely want to do one with these where it's like, I do like a hair tutorial with me using, and even the white one, like I promise you, I use this today to hide my hair or to make my bun look fluffier. Because when my hair is straight, I think I mentioned to you guys, when my hair is straight, it looks a lot thinner compared to when it's curly because obviously when it's curly the waves kind of like make my hair look fuller whereas like when it's straight it's like very flat so I like to I like my bun to be a little poofier when it's straight too because when it's curly it's huge and then I feel like it's non-existent when it's small <laughs> or when it's straight excuse me so yeah 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 but yes yeah, oh I meant to show you bruh <laughs> my mind okay so this is like it's loose on my wrist it's loose on my wrist because the fabric is also like a thicker fabric when you tighten it right so this is i'm already like struggling to hold it open like look look at the struggle maria like i'm trying to it's too she too thick i'm the struggle is real just to kind of like <laughs> open my fingers so she's she's holding on Yeah. And honestly, when my hair's curly, you know it's not it, girl. Ain't no... <laughs> you touch my hair if you want to. I tell people all the time, my hair's curly, you touch my hair at your own risk. When your fingers get stuck in here, in this bird's nest, you you good luck with that. Don't... There ain't nobody tell you to touch my hair. It's never appropriate to touch someone else's hair. <laughs> that is not a thing. Have, what kind of elastic are you using right now, Sandy? Because I know you've been making, like, the knit ones. Are you using the regular uh, elastic or are you using just, like, the pre-made elastics? When I used to use my, when I used to make my crochet ones, excuse me, I would just use the, like, actual, like, elastic elastic, like the scrunchy elastics. Thank you. I hope, I hope people like it. Yeah, girl. It's real. 
I feel like that should be common sense, but people don't understand that sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I used to use the scrunchies. Scrunchies. I hope that makes sense. It's um, I think it's S C R U N E. Wherever the I is in scrunchies, there were two eyes. That those are the scrunchies. Whoops. Those are the scrunchies that I used. I loved those. They're like the um wire, the wire free ones. They're nice and thick. They're very plush. I like those. I mean, I've always used those on my own personal hair. So for me, I'm the type of person where it's like, I would never do or use something that I wouldn't do or use myself. Like I wouldn't recommend it or use it for someone else. So why use like cheap elastics, right? So like I made sure like my elastics were really good elastics. Let me move this over before I break another needle. Yes, thank you, Maria. <laughs> Y'all know I'm slow. Spelling is not my forte. I love the thick elastic. I genuinely do. And honestly, for me, you know I'm anal. <laughs> As if I haven't said it already like 20 times today. Or in the last two and a half hours. Um, with these, I feel like I can more or less glue the same amount. Most of the time, the, the scrunchy... I know I'm definitely cutting nine inches. That's for sure. I'm definitely cutting nine. I have more or less the same width of fabric that I'm sewing over, right? So it's like, I'm going to have the same amount. When you're tying, there's too many, like, there's a lot more variables involved, I feel. And it's harder for things to be, like, similar. So, I don't know. I prefer to do it this way. Dollar <laughs> twenty five tree. Yeah, Michelle, that's what I was saying. I use it in my buns to kind of hide, uh, to make my bun fuller as a sock. Yeah, for me, with my hair being as thick as it is, the dollar store um, scrunchies don't do a thing for me, Sandy. Sometimes I'd be putting it in my hand and it pops. I was like, I can only, like, it wouldn't even make it to the like my hair. Almost lost my, my thread there for a hot second. So yeah, you see, I'm kind of going back and forth a couple times just to make sure that she's nice and secure. Let me see. I've been going back and forth a couple times. I do the same for every scrunchie. Rather be safe than sorry, you know. Since I'm not tying it, it's glued and then it's thoroughly sewn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're testing them. That's, I mean, either way, it's a, your preference. Judgment-free zone here, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like you get more at Target. I used to get, I used to try to get them when they were on sale and do like the Target pickups. Because sometimes even just for using the um, the Target pickups, you would get discounts too. So whatever works, y'all. Y'all know I'm trying to save my little coins.
And thank you guys for keeping me company. I was definitely struggling to get all this stuff done. And with you keeping me company, I'm get I'm definitely getting a fair amount of stuff done. bruh i'm telling you you and then that's the thing like you can never please anyone like people are always forever gonna have contradicting opinions so do what pleases you it's your business like it's your country like and that's why for me it's like i was saying you know i do what i would use because at the end of the day if I don't sell any of this stuff, I'm going to be using it. I'm the, I'm my main consumer, you know, granted I don't have kids, but if I did, that's what I, I would put on my daughter or on my son, you know? So it's like, I do something to the quality that I would use it. So if you would use something like that, somebody else would use something like that. You know, what was it that I was saying on Liz's live? Not all of us are Susie's like Susie's mom, you know, some of our budgets are different. Did I, my needle just break? No. Okay. I think my yarn just broke. My oh, yarn. My thread. Yeah. And a thread break. We're going to redo this one. Yeah. The, oh, the packs are definitely getting smaller. That's for sure. Um, I use, depending on what kind of glue, like, what are you using the glue for? I have different glues for different things. Oh, yeah. I, that's what I want to do. I want to do the whole, like, oh, um, they're never going to know. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that, I want to do that. Like, I want to do, like, a, a bun tutorial on how I do my buns. Because, I mean, not to toot my own horns. My buns be on point, y'all. I remember <laughs> in high school, one of my friends used to talk, like, so much smack. Because she's, like, whenever she wanted to, like, upset me, she'd be, like, your bun is crooked. I'm, like, no, it is not. I know my bad boy is asymmetrical. She is on point. Like, don't try and come for my buns. Because yours is, like falling apart <laughs> i used to be on it like i was i'm anal now you can imagine in high school Yeah, I, I walked into that one, didn't I, Maria? <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I, for, I had something in my mind and I totally forgot it. <laughs> This the after dark live. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, okay. I remember what I was going to say. In my room, I actually have um, kind of like a small tote that says don't get your scrunchies in a bunch. Because remember, I used to crochet the velvet ones. So I have that. So I'm kind of happy that I went with the scrunchie route. Because again, like it's not something entirely new. It's just different method. Like it's not crocheted. Because again, the scrunchies that I had like just disappeared. So I feel like this will be a, a nice alternative. But still, still, still on brand, still on brand. Somebody's hungry. <laughs> okay, so we went through our first little bin. I have some elastics here. I still have some of the black left, and this is the white that I got today. I did cut them all up to nine. And then I'm going to see, oh, I think this is, is this extra? This might be the last piece that I cut. But I'm going to try and test them out and see how they hold to each other. And I'm going to try to do a different scrunchie. Same cotton, but probably like different scrunchies. Um, so I can test it out to see how long it lasts. The, the science nerd in me needs it. So I'm going to stack this over this because I can. I'm just I'm stacking. Look, look at my Burger King cup from this morning. <laughs> from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Because that's literally what it was. Okay, we have this little bit amount here. And then we're done. I can go home and try to play um, Disney Dreamlight Valley if I don't conk out as soon as my head hits the pillow. You might have to um, come, like, go in and out of the, the stream, Maria. Oh, damn. And you're knitting it, too. Knitting it is not like crochet. You can't just frog it. That's, yeah, I am so sorry. Oh, uh, don't even talk to me about pets stealing them. When I was sorting laundry this morning, my dog stole like four or five pieces of underwear from my laundry basket and like ate them four or five. I have like almost no underwear like Daisy. What in the actual freak? Like stop stealing. My, I have to buy. Like I literally need to buy because I don't, I don't think I even have like, I mean, I have, but bruh, I need to, I need to replenish all the ones she keeps eating. Good night, Sandra. Thank you for coming in and keeping us company. <laughs> I do. Michelle, you got to show me. You got you to show me. <laughs> That'll be the, the after dark line for the moms that I sell to now. In the Discord event. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> Not a parachute. 
Those are the ones I need, Michelle. <laughs> safety first, friend. Safety first. They need dual purpose, okay? <laughs> gonna be me and you both. Listen, I need to be comfortable, okay? <laughs> You know, Dan, you know very much well, ain't nothing happening over here. Especially if only days is gonna be sitting here eating them. Bruh. What, what is happening? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I may too. Oh, this little scrunchy pile is going to be so satisfying. I can't wait to show y'all. I might cut them and then I'll probably head out. You have like 10 more scrunchies to get through, y'all. 10 more scrunchies. It'd be nice if I can see what I'm doing. These, these satin ones are a little too thick. I can't maneuver. Look, look, I just unglued it. Look, mm -mm, see? All right, let's glue her back up. She's going to get sewn tomorrow. Oof. Ow. <laughs> that kind of hurt. So basically, I just grabbed my little glue. Dab a little dabby dab. A little, a little more. Grab my little pen. Not to trying to focus on my arm hairs. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> and then that's it. I just let it dry. We're going to put her aside. Let's wait till tomorrow. <laughs> but what are you trying to glue that's the thing I don't know what glue to recommend if I don't know what you're gluing <laughs> um, the fabric I mean if you're talking about fabric glue I have this one this is the only one I can really find and I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive either. They have her glue. Um, they have a lot of different glues that come in variety packs. But for some reason, the fabric glue, this is the only one that does not come in a variety pack. I was highly annoyed. I like it. 
I would prefer for it to be stronger. Like, I know Taylor uses a glue that supposedly dries within seconds. I have to pin mine. And you saw if I manipulate it too much, it still comes undone, so. Hers, she said, is like concrete. Mine, mine is not like concrete. It'll hold, but I would definitely have to sew it. Um, but I'll definitely tomorrow, um, Sandy, tomorrow while I'm here at the store, hopefully not doing too much, I'll try to link everything. So I'm going to link this. I'm going to link the clips. I'm going to link um, the 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 hardware. I'm going to link this, all the good stuff that I was using today. I'm gonna, I'll link everything so you guys can see. I think I even got this off Amazon, too. I tried finding the one she uses, but I don't. I couldn't find it. Let me plug you guys in. You're about to die. It's been that long. My phone's about to die. Yeah, I'm using fabric glue for sure. It's kind of expensive. I want to say, because I have her regular glue. I use her regular glue too sometimes. I got a pack of the same size bottle, like the eight ml, uh, the eight um ounces. I want to say I got a three pack of the regular, like tacky glue, the same eight ounce for what I got this one glue. So I'm just like, bruh, can I not get a variety pack, please? Like, I'd like to save a little on glue. <laughs> I think this is like ten dollars, ten or twelve dollars for this one bottle. I mean, it lasts. I mean, I've made a boatload of scrunchies, and I mean, I've barely put a dent in it. But still, I mean, if I'm gonna be doing this, I'm gonna need a lot more. So I would prefer one for it to dry, dry faster, be stronger, and cost less. <laughs> if if possible, that'd be nice. <laughs> Bro, I watched a couple of them and try to like pause and zoom in to see the name. <laughs> I couldn't see. I might have to check one of her older videos. I feel like she mentioned it and then she goes straight to the supplier. I even went to the supplier website for this one and it was still fairly expensive. I wanted to say it ended up coming out cheaper on Amazon just because of like shipping. Like I would get faster shipping to pay a little bit more than I would at the website. So we'll see. I'm going to try it. Michelle, if you can remember to do so, if you find it, please let me know. I would love to, like, get it directly from the supplier as well. Yeah, I have a Joann's by me. I actually saw it at the Joann's when I went to pick up the second order. They had it, and it had, like, a little sticker where it's, like, 25% more or 25% free something or other. But it was, like, $12 or $13 at Joann's. Um, we're talking about Taylor Rose for Taylor, um, from Taylor Rose made or handmade, I think, or no made by Taylor Rose. Excuse me. Yeah. I feel like it's the same. Ugh, that's ridiculous. It was, I think it was like $13 if I'm not mistaken. And I was contemplating buying another one and I was like, let me not waste money that I don't need to spend right now. And I was like, like I said, the one I have is still barely been touched. I was like, let me just use what I have for now. If I'm ever getting like precautiously low, then I can like try and finesse and look into more glue. But for now, <laughs> I'm good. I think I even looked at like Alibaba or AliExpress to see for like fabric glue. And I couldn't really find anything in regards to fabric glue. Yeah, but the one that they have at the dollar store, Maria, I think is their tacky glue. Not the fabric glue, it's the tacky glue. But correct me if I'm wrong. I may be wrong. So I'm sorry if I am. But double check if they have the, the fabric glue. Because even if it's the small one, I think the small ones are what, like eight ounce Or uh, this is eight ounce. I think the small ones are maybe four or two. Even if it was two ounces, 
if this bottle is $12, right? You're spending roughly, what is that? 150, 12, three. So, okay, 150. Someone do math for me. <laughs> I can't brain right now. So 12 or eight divided by 12, please. And that will tell us how much it is an ounce. Oh, bet. Okay, I need to screenshot this. Let me screenshot this. Um, can someone do math for me? <laughs> What's um, 8 divided by 12? I know, is it 12 divided by 8? However much pounds. I feel like it's a dollar twenty five or something. Um, <laughs> you're like, you're going to keep waiting, sis. <laughs> I can't even do the math. <laughs> 150. Okay. So if one ounce is 150. Okay, so I was right. I said like 150, 125, 150. All right, whatever. So if one ounce is 150, if you get a two ounce bottle for 125, you're still saving on the smaller bottles. It's a pain, but yes. <laughs> Bruh, I love you guys. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, even if it's a smaller, like two ounce bottles, you're still saving by getting the smaller bottles. But no, I didn't buy this at Walmart. I think I got this on Amazon. But I need to find the the other one, the one I, I want to try the one that Taylor uses. Because this takes forever to dry. Not forever, but it takes a minute. And that's why I started working on the keychains because I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to start if I glued these, I might as well start another project. So, I mean, it allows me to get other stuff done, but I'd rather not. <laughs> okay, bet. See? So, $10. It's still like a dollar something uh, uh, an ounce. So, either way, if you can get a two-ounce bottle for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five, you're still saving because I doubt the bottle is going to be one ounce. I feel like the the bottle has to at least be anywhere between two to four ounces of smaller mini bottles. So I still feel like that's a better deal. Granted, you're going to have a lot more waste that way, but I mean, you're saving money. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe the top is just dry, but the glue itself should be fine, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's not lose the scrunchie. And you see, I don't remember how long ago I did that other green one, but let's see if it's drying or at least I can work it while I finish these. I doubt it, but. 
Like Taylor doesn't even use clips. Like she just holds it for like a hot second and then just throws it away. Not throws it, but like puts it away. If I were to just like wet the elastic and then put it away, it would not hold at all. <laughs> and while I don't mind using my clips because I actually thoroughly enjoy throwing it in the little bucket, if I don't have to do that, I'd rather not. These, these scrunchies are a little thick. So I almost had like a mini heart attack. Did my thing unthread? It sure did. I don't know what happened, but I kind of like looked to the right. And for some reason, I thought like I saw movement by the door and I almost like lost it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we're coming to an end because <laughs> your girl's getting tired. Starting to hallucinate things. my let me show you what i'm fighting with i'm fighting with the top of this and it's like stuck there we go Yeah, I just had like a whole like little mini heart attack. I have the calculator kind of like, you know, when you pull this, like the corner down, it's in there for me. She wants her glue now. <laughs> I'm weak, Maria. <laughs> like, I don't see it. <laughs> I definitely don't see it. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely not. The fabric tack? Okay, yeah, no, this isn't fabric tack. This is just fabric fusion. Oh my God. <laughs> So you guys hear that noise, right? One of the girls has like an industrial printer. I don't know if it's like doing a self-cleaning or what, but it happened yesterday and it scared me half to death. Oh, good God. Oh, 
Oh, mini heart attack. The fabric tack. How much is the fabric tack here? Is that what you were saying is $10 at Walmart, Michelle? Let me know, girl, because I'll definitely pay $10 for that. I don't know about this $20, Sandy. Oh, I'm sorry, Michelle. It's all good, girl. Michelle, the glue that you said was ten dollars at Walmart. Was it the Arlene or the um? Is this Leany? How do you pronounce this? Was it this one or was it the one that um the fabric tag? <gasps> Twelve dollars. Oh yeah, we need to try that. I need to find it. I need to get. I need to get it now. How much is shipping to Canada? I'll send it to you. My friend is in Seattle. I'll send it to her and then try and get her to cross the border for you. <laughs> She's not in Seattle. She's in Washington, but close enough. It might even be cheaper for her to like ship it to you from there. We got to find a way, sis. We going to make this happen. I know a lot of businesses ship to Canada. Like, we have, there has to be something. <laughs> like, pirate ship. I've been seeing a boatload of pirate ship commercials. We, we got to check out pirate ship. What is, what they doing? They got ships. Can they ship the glue? Bro, that's ridiculous. I'm I'm upset for you, friend. <laughs> that would definitely be me. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not trying to like finagle like drugs or anything like just some glue it's not even like sniffing glue it's fabric glue let me be great <laughs> i'm screaming What <laughs> you know, I'm tired, like my fingers aren't working. <laughs> oh, okay. Try going directly to fabric tack, or what is it called? I forgot the name of the glue already. Yeah, fabric check. Try going to the manufacturer directly and see if they'll ship to you in Canada, Sandy. It's been three hours. <laughs> come, come on. Let's not break another needle. Um, let's see. <laughs> all right so it's been a good minute right like it's been a couple minutes let's see i feel like it's still wet 
Let me back up some too. I mean, it's holding, but we'll see. Yeah, see, no, it just came apart. Yeah, so we're going to have to do it in the morning. Or not in the morning, but tomorrow. Let me add a little more just in case. See? It's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Example A. So... See, like it takes forever to dry. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to say she's getting it directly from the manufacturer. Maybe that's why it looks a little bit different. But I know she was saying she used to get it from Spotlight. And I think they stopped selling it. So she went directly to the manufacturer and was able to get it cheaper. Or no, it might have been, it might have gotten it more expensive or something. She's like, yeah, no, screw that. And went straight to the manufacturer. Oh, I'm, I'm dropping the things. Let me unplug this first and foremost. Okay, let's turn this because we have a table here and we're very limited in space. <laughs> okay, let's not drop things again. That would be nice. Look at our little pile. It's nowhere near Taylor's pile, but look at the little pile. <laughs> This excites me. <laughs> the joy. <laughs> this this definitely brings me joy. So we're going to cut some of this and then we're going to, I think, call it a day. I have a little pile here. Why am I struggling? I have a little pile, or not a pile, I have a bin here of scrunchies that have already been, or elastic, scrunchies with elastics. Good Lord words. I have a little bin with scrunchies that have had their elastics already sewn and just need to get tagged. Like then the they need to get um I guess you can say cuffed and then tagged. So I'm going to put that on the bin in the bin on the floor next to me. And then this doesn't have to be super fancy cuz it's literally on the inside so it doesn't particularly matter. We're just tossing tossing we're just tossing aside this scrunchie. Good god. It's definitely close to bedtime. Y'all and just drive home. Probably not going to get to do any Disney Dreamlight Valley, but that's okay. We got a lot of stuff done today and yesterday. I have videos that I need to edit. And I went live today, so I think progress. Progress. Oh, and you guys didn't get to see any of this fabric. This was the um, second order of fabric that I had um, placed that I wasn't able to pick up. So this is the satins that I tried or I had ordered. I love this green. I feel like it looks a little gray on camera, but it's green. It's so pretty. I love it. And I think this isn't a stretch satin, but it is a shiny satin. I really like it. I really, really like it. Um, I'm behind on comments. Um, With it being so not tight but the fabric is or the elastic is fairly thick and i'm the way i'm folding it close it's kind of like over each other so i have to kind of pull and hold to sew it's hard to hold both ends to sew at the same time so it's easier to glue it or have something to hold it in place so i can go ahead and sew it um and then this is also like the scrunchie itself the bulk is in the way as well Excuse me. Technically, you can possibly like sew it like this. This would probably be the easiest way to sew it. But then it's going to be, you're going to have kind of like this little like puntico. Like you're going to have this little tip in your scrunchie. And I don't particularly care for that. So that's why I like to sew it like this. So it's easier to glue it straight across and then just sew over it later. Thank you, Sandy. I'll look at it once I get off. 
Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. She doesn't have any links anywhere. I don't know, but I want to try it. I want to try her glue. Like, this is the only, this was the only fabric glue that I could really find anywhere, honestly. On Amazon, Insta, not Instagram, good God. On um, Joann's, Michael's, uh, Amazon. Like, I couldn't find really anything else. Even Alibaba didn't have anything like this. I think they had something else that looked sus. I was like, yeah, I'm not trying that. <laughs> so, I don't know. And like I said, it works, but it takes forever to dry. Like, I would prefer something faster. Ideally, something stronger. Because, again, if I manipulate it too much, it also breaks. Like, not breaks, but it comes undone. Which makes sense, because you're trying to make something that's supposed to be, like, malleable. And, uh, like, it literally is elastic malleable. Like, stiff. So, it's, it's going to break or kind of fall apart. But we'll see. This is the blue that you really liked, Sandy. See, I don't like this seam. Like, you see how you can see the seam? For me, with the method that I have, that's technically on the inside. Like, it's going to be in here. You won't see the seam. Like, you'll only see, like, this part. No, that's the seam. Here. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm behind. Helmer's glue? Or Elmer's? I'm confused. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Isn't it so pretty? I'm not a fan of this material that much. I feel like I like the other satins better. I mean, it's a nice satin, but this one, the bulk, I want to say the width of this was 44, so it is smaller. It's not going to be as floofy as the other ones. And I feel like it doesn't have that nice little stretch that the other ones had. I mean, the, the color is gorgeous. But out of all the satins that I have, I like this satin the least. Just being frank. I mean, I'm going to still use it. We still don't go get a reuse. Yeah, I love blue. I like this green too. Like, look at this green, y'all. This one's a matte satin. It's really soft. And then this one's a shiny satin. No, this one's still matte too. Excuse me. Which is this is the only shiny one that I have. I really love this green. It's so pretty. But y'all. We're going to plug in Sarah one more time. I know she's probably, like, long been conked out. Today's video was brought to you by Sarah's presence. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Your gifts have been thoroughly used and much appreciated. I love them oh so much. Um, yeah, there it was. Yeah, I like that deep green a lot. But ladies, thank you so much for keeping me company. I am exhausted. I feel like it's 12 o'clock at this point. <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, it, it's 12.10. <laughs> um, your girl is tired. I've, I've worked enough. Um, I have my little bin here of scrunchies that I'll probably not touch tomorrow because I deserve to not. I've worked my butt off. Um, we got this amount of stuff done earlier. So, yeah. <laughs> Again, ladies, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I really do appreciate it. Um, you guys make working so much fun. This is how, I, I don't think I showed you how I put the tags on it. But that'll be for another video, y'all. <laughs> I got to drive home. Thankfully, I only live 10 minutes away. <laughs> But again, have a good night. Thank you for keeping me company. Um, I'll definitely check out the links and stuff that you guys put in Discord. 
Have a good night. Thank you. I'll text you guys in the Discord to let you know that I got home. Or I will try to. Hopefully I don't knock out before then. <laughs>